Florida quarterback Emory Jones is someone we've talked about often on this channel. And anyone that has watched any of our old videos of us talking about him or break down his film know that we are very high on him. So today we're going to look at his surrounding cast. So not necessarily what Emory Jones brings to the table. We have plenty of videos if you're interested in kind of breaking down his game film. But we're going to break down some film of the guys around him and how I think they'll be able to help Emory Jones be successful. But before we do, I just want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. If you like any quarterback related content, it's fair game here. So let's go ahead and dive into the content of the video. There's three groups, obviously, that running backs, tight ends, and receivers that are going to help Emory Jones kind of be broken in. But I think the running backs could stand out tremendously. And we're going to watch several clips from the games against Georgia uh, because once you put Emory Jones in at quarterback, I think, uh, I think you have some creative options and creative plays of how to get the running game, the running backs involved in the passing game, something that Florida did good last year. And all three guys I'm going to talk about uh, can catch and, and have shown good ability to catch out of the backfield. And so they're going to create mismatches. I think tight end Kamori Gamble is going to create mismatches uh, this this year too and he's going to have a lot more opportunity with Kyle Pitts gone we're going to see a few clips of him and then we're going to watch some of the wide receivers who I think are going to have good seasons and I left out J uh, uh, Jacob Copeland on purpose because he's kind of more of the the obvious guy the guy that, that's kind of taken over probably the number one receiver so I left him out uh, but the guys we're watching are guys who had some good plays last year but haven't fully developed but I think can have a, a successful year here in 2021 so I think these three position groups Specifically, these players I'm about to mention, I think are going to help Emory Jones' job be a lot easier at the quarterback position. So enough of me talking. Let's dive into the film and look at these guys who I think will help Emory Jones be successful in 2021. So here we have running back Malik Davis right here, number 20 here. We're going to see him do a wheel route here. Yes, he gets open, but it's a very good catch. He's able to catch it like a receiver out of the backfield. Uh, Good coverage, but he gets open, and it's a good throw. But it's the ability to catch like a receiver that's impressive here. Again, something that Florida will be able to do. Gets open. Good catch there down the sideline. Again, having guys that can catch like that is just such a huge thing for a quarterback, especially with a quarterback like Emory Jones kind of getting his first year starting. If it was big for Trask, if running backs were big for Trask out of the backfield, it would be big for Jones. Let's watch this catch here. Again, Malik Davis here. Hell of a catch diving out of the backfield. So here we have Malik Davis again. He's going to be making a good catch out of the backfield, this time lined up on the right side. Running a similar route, but now we're running to the left side of the screen. Makes a good catch as Kyle Trask is able to get over here just briefly. Uh, but again, catches like a receiver, but out of the backfield. We'll go ahead and watch this. Uh, but again, we, we saw creativity with the running backs. With Trask, we're going to see even more with Emory Jones. I know he's open, looks like a relatively easy catch, but still for a running back that can be challenging at times, and he makes it look like a receiver there. It's just hard to cover. It's hard when you have linebackers having to cover running backs that are like this, like the running backs that Florida has. Another good example there, a good catch downfield. So here we have Malik Davis at the backfield again. Again, able to make a guy miss. He's just a check down guy here, but this, uh, I promise, is a quarterback's best friend. A guy that can make a... Five-ish yard pass, six-yard pass, and an 18-yard pass. Look, he's one-on-one -on -one with the backer. No shot here. Makes a miss. Oop. See you later. Gets up field, picks up the first down there. It's a little different route than the other routes that we've seen, uh, from at least in this video from Davis, but uh, just another example of how a five, six-yard route, five, six-yard completion can go to 18, 20-yard first down. Boom. Gets up field. Good job there. So here we have Damian Pierce uh, out, of the, the, out of the backfield here. This might be my favorite play from any of the running backs catching the ball out of the backfield for the simple fact he has to stop and make a guy miss as he's catching the ball essentially he's out of the backfield, has to stop, catches it, anticipate the hit, right, then able to make a guy miss and get upfield. Let's watch it kind of one more time in fast motion there. Um, but again, we've talked about in detail already about how running backs create mismatches already for uh, DBs. Or for linebackers, of course, the safety's on him. Gets to him quick. Boom, makes the guy miss. Able to get upfield there. Uh, the, I think the running backs out of the backfield are going to be a problem this year for def for defenders, especially when you add Jones' ability to run. There's going to be some creative plays uh, that Dan Mullen has. We'll watch it from this angle. Again, this safety is the one coming down on the running back. Go ahead and make a guy miss. Get upfield there. Good job there. So here we have Naquan Wright on the right side of Kyle Trask here. Very similar to the Malik Davis play. We're just going to see a nice little wheel route. 
able to get out. He probably took the defenders for a surprise uh, for his speed, was able to catch the ball, a big 50-yard play. But again, just another example of the, the running back's ability to catch out of the backfield and to get open are going to be huge for Emory Jones. Let's watch it from here. No way he gets there in time. Good design play as well. Able to catch it and get upfield. Fifty, I think it was a 50-ish yard play or so. Yeah, right about 50 yards. Uh, good catch and run by Naquan Wright. Again, out of the backfield. Backers unable to get over there in time. Just a good mismatch here. Again, they'll be able to use this uh, to the, the Thor's offense. The more I watch uh, the Thor's offensive skilled players, the, the, the more excited I get for this offense. So here we have tight end Kamara Gamble on the left side of the screen, playing off the ball right here. You're, you're going to see any Florida fan will remember his touchdown, just a wheel route. Gets lost, right? Georgia, for whatever reason, uh, does not have their eyes on him. He's able to get open for a touchdown. But I think you'll see more and more of Gamble this year. Uh, he's going to be, I think, a staple in the offense and going to be a good go-to guy for Emory Jones. Gets open right there, shows he can run, get downfield. So I think we'll see more of these type of plays with Gamble this year. He's going to watch the end zone angle as well. And here he is right here, big 6'4", tight end. Able to get open. Yeah, I think we're going to see more of that from Gamble this year. So we have tight end Gamble again, right side on the ball right here. We're going to see him just run an out route here. Picks up the first down. Linebacker is unable to get there in time. Good route here. Again, like we mentioned in another video about Gamble, I think we'll see him more and more used here. This is going to be hard. He's going to be a mismatch, I think, for a lot of uh, linebackers. Ball's out. Good route. Gets open. Yeah, first down, 14, 15 yards there. We'll watch from this point of view. You can see him come in motion. Able to get set there. This backer, let's see, number 32 is the man trying to cover him. Right here. So, again, if, if you're not completely focused on, on Gamble, he'll be able to get open. Good route there. Again, he's going to create some problems. It's going to be a mismatch for linebackers. So here we have Justin Shorter at the bottom of the screen at 6'5 receiver. Big receiver, can run as well. So we're going to see just kind of a delayed, kind of just shallow cross. Uh, he gets lost within the defense, gets open, ends up getting a touchdown here. But watch the speed to break away. So again, 6'5 guy who can run like this. Going to be very impressive. Going to be able to catch over the middle, but also use some of the outside. Catch it, run away from the defenders there. Good play for a touchdown there. Begin the 6 5 guy who can run and move. Uh, someone they'll be able to utilize more and more this year. So, just an example of that size and speed right here. Let's watch it one more time so I can speed this up a hair. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Again, he gets wide open, right? Boom. Misses a big 6 5 guy. Good stuff. Wearing the Tyree Cleveland number as well. So here we have Justin Shorter at the top of the screen here. Look, DB's playing off coverage. Eyes are on. Uh, Trask compared to this DB is a little more, not necessarily man, but, but kind of more up close to the line of scrimmage. Able to get open a quick slant. Good catch here, but notice he's able to body the DB from coming in. When you're 6'5 like that, you can really use your your body like a, like a, like a post player in basketball to uh, make the throw easier for the quarterback. So he'll be able to make the throw easier for the quarterback right here. Just throw it to his body. He's able to block the DB out from coming through. Nice 14, 15 yard gain right here. Again, I think we'll see more and more shorter. I think he's a good athlete. He's big and he's able to uh, possess the football like this. Able to box him out, make a good catch there, make it, helping the quarterback make an easier throw. So here's wide receiver Tw Trent Whittemore down here, who I think has the, the potential to be a good possession receiver for Jones. Again, you, you need your explosive guys, you need guys out of the backfield, uh, and you need guys who are just going to be reliable, and I think Whittemore can be that guy. He makes this quick, easy catch here, gets a field for first down here, uh, knows the situation, is on a, a minute left here. Nothing crazy here, just showing a quick example. It will turn upfield towards the sideline and get out of bounds there. Uh, let's watch it from this angle. Hopefully we can see it here. Again, nothing special about this play particularly here, but... I think we'll see him more and more in 2021 and a guy that Jones will be able to find uh, find open.
So just to recap, the running backs out of the backfield are going to create mismatches against Packers and even strong safeties. We saw that in the clips against Georgia. I think Titan Gamble is going to create mismatches. And even though there are only a few clips that we watched of him, I think we've got a decent idea of if he's, if he's forgotten about or if the DB or the linebacker is caught looking at the, at the quarterback as opposed to Gamble, he's going to be able to separate himself and get open. And the two receivers we talked about, I think, can have a good, uh, have a good chance to be good possession guys, block out DBs, and make throws easier on Emory Jones. Again, that's not all the offensive weapons Florida has, but these are kind of the main guys I want to talk about in the video today. But let me know in the comments below, what do you think about Florida surrounding cast? How do you think they'll help Emory Jones? Let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time on the next quarterback-related video.